Welcome back to the show. Your time is 841 right now. Looking live across Colorado. This shot sponsored by State Farm Insurance. We're looking at Grand Lake this morning. The lake of grandness. Yes. Very grand. <laughs> Looking beautiful though, right? Beautiful. Fall colors, blue skies. Look at that. You can't, you can't clouds, ask for a better shot. I mean, that's it right there. Beautiful. Hey, the let's get the map. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. It is time for our monthly presentation of our WireNut Home Services three degree guarantee check. Here's a reminder for you, when we get the forecast correct within three degrees, WireNut Home Services donates $30 to a local charity and Fox 21 matches it. This month we're highlighting Community Partnership Family Resource Center in Teller County and uh, Corey Gorton joins us now from the charity and of course Trent Urban from WireNut is with us as well. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. We appreciate yeah. it. Corey, we'll start off with you. It's a long name. <laughs> and but it can be confusing, but you guys do so much in the community, I think it's appropriate. Tell yeah. us about it. Yeah, so Community Partnership Family Resource Center um, primarily serves Teller County. Our mission is to strengthen families, provide programming that strengthens families so that they're self-reliant, fully functional, and positive contributors to our community. And tell us how you do that. Like, what are some of the specific things that you're a part sure. of? Sure. So we have about 20 programs. There's a lot that we do. Um, it's a full spectrum, anywhere from prenatal all the way up to in any age basically and we really come in um, and support the families with whatever needs they have strengths based they tell us what they want and they need and we will provide them with resources and services and opportunities to meet those needs we never tell them what we think they should do they mm. tell us what they want and we will support them so play groups um, we do GED classes we do cooking classes we do one-on-one -on -one in home visitation we do parenting workshops we do in school programming Playgroup, um, I said playgroups, uh, a lot. There's so much that we do, I could go on and on. It, and on. it is a lot, and <laughs> really, really impressive, and obviously meeting a lot of needs. So where will the money from the three-degree guarantee go? Yeah, so the money is actually going to go towards our parent advisory committee. Um, the parent advisory committee, it was their idea to sign us up for this opportunity. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So uh, we felt it was only... It made sense to go there. It was appropriate. It will also support all of our programming. So continuing to provide these services for free to our community. Awesome. And if someone wants to learn more about your organization, how can they do that? The best way is really go to our website. It's cpteller.org. Um, we would also invite anybody to come to our community center. We just bought it a year ago. It's brand new and it's fully renovated now. So. We would love anyone to come and visit us up in Woodland Park, right smack dab in the middle, but also Facebook, Instagram, word of mouth, and awesome. our website. Well, keep up the good work, and we're Thank honored you. to help you guys out with this. Trent, why is it important for WireNut to support the community in this way? Well, you know, as we do this every month, of course, we're hopefully, we are leaving impact. And when I hear the stories, you know, which they're, they're short, you know, we get a chance to talk before. But when I get a, you know, a, a moment to get those stories and see how real this is and what it's really doing. We have, for example, Angie behind the camera right now. She's one of those stories. She was sharing with us now. She's on the uh, Parent Advisory Council, you yep. called it? And uh, she's helping raise the next generation of, of you know, people in our community, kids that are then going to be contributors in the community. So if we can help them you know, get a leg up, not have it be so just daunting or you know, demanding of them, and they know that there's support out there. I, I saw it just in Angie's story. She's feeling and seeing that support directly from Corey and the group. You know, and it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, I go through, with, I don't live in Woodland Park, but I go through sure. there pretty often. Okay. Now I'll see that big building there right behind Wendy's, and I'll be like, oh, that's where they're at. Maybe I'll drop in for yoga or something. Yeah, please yeah, do. Which is yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just want to say, I, I love you guys coming alongside us to do this. It says a lot about being a locally owned business wanting to put some things back into the community. It says a lot about who you guys and who your team is. So thank you. Thank well, you, you guys as well. I mean, you're dedicating air time for this. And yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for having you're us. You're very welcome. So let's do what we're here for. Oh, check boy! Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We've got $1,740 oh, wow. for Community Partnership Family Resource Center in Teller County. Uh, we are honored to do this for you guys, so keep up the good work. Thank you for being here today, and send our best wishes to not only the team, but to those you help as well, awesome. Wire, Nut, and Fox, all pulling for them. Yes, so. thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. Awesome. You. And we are always working on our next local nonprofit to support. Here's how you 
can get some organization that's important to you or maybe you donate your time or money to, go to fox21news.com. Find the three degree guarantee page. It is under the weather tab. We're already considering who we should support in the months ahead. So make sure you go ahead and do that. We will be back right after this with another look at today's forecast.